Hi, I'm Rita Heikenfeld, and welcome to Love Starts in the Kitchen. Now, think of your pans as multi-purpose. You know, I've told you that before. Yes, this is a wok. It's going to wilt out spinach perfectly well. And it looks like it's very well seasoned, so they must use it a lot. We're going to film again the bottom of the pan with olive oil. And um, you want to have a bag of spinach that's washed. I'm going to run this under some cold water because you want just a tiny bit of water that clings to the leaves. Even though this is already washed, I'm going to go ahead and just wash it one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some garlic, some red pepper flakes, and just because I have it, a shallot. Let's put the shallot in first and we'll talk a little bit about what that is and why it's so good for you. Okay, here we go. Yum. I love cooking and I love cooking with garlic and onions. All right, let me see if I can get another little paring knife here. Here we go, good. This is a shallot. You like that onion flavor? You could also put in green onions, a little bit of yellow onion, whatever, or leave it out, whatever you like. So first going to take off the top and slice it like this. So you always have a nice little flat end. Leave the root end on. And because this is such a small uh, member of the onion family, I'm going to use my paring knife to go ahead and slice it. You want to make several horizontal cuts. Keep your palm down. Give yourself always a flat, flat surface to work from. And then I'm going to do a series of just vertical cuts. And depending upon how wide these are apart, you'll get a chop, a mince, a dice. So like this. It smells great. So eyeball how much you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you're going to, this is good. Now, when you get to the root end of a vegetable like this, onion, and sometimes your knife will slip, I would rather pitch this out or put it in the compost pile than try to cut, because sometimes you get a nasty cut. So, here we go. This is looking good. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to put this in, and some, with some garlic and our spinach. And within just a couple minutes, this is going to be done before the orzo is, actually. We're going to add some garlic. And how much? Mm, I don't know. Maybe a couple teaspoons. There you go. Smells so good. And remember, turn your heat down when you're sauteing garlic and onions, especially garlic. A lot of sugar in garlic, and it will burn. If you ever had garlic turn black on you, you've got to start all over. So keep the heat down if you need to. Dash or two of red pepper flakes if you like it with a little bit of a kick, which I do. Red pepper, these are uh, fat soluble, which means the flavor is much more rounded. You'll get a better flavor if you saute them in some kind of fat first. So this is looking good. Mm, I think I could use a little more, mm, maybe a little more olive oil, not much. OK, there we go. Why don't we just put a pinch of basil since we have some? Some dry basil, a handful of fresh would be wonderful, and you'd add that at the end. Okay, this is a 10-ounce bag. You think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of spinach. But you know what? It's going to cook down to about a good two servings. Spinach, oh my gosh, is really wonderful for you. Think of huge amount of vitamin A, lots of good calcium, iron, and of course vitamin C. So. Again, we should all be eating more spinach. So what I'm going to do is sometimes I'll put a lid on the pan. Today I'm just going to toss it and let it wilt from the bottom up. You can see. And it's up to you how much, uh, how wilted you want it. So we're going to make, just let it cook away here. Meanwhile, we're going to check our spinach and our pan sauce. This spinach, wow, that looks great. Look how much it's wilted down already. So we're going to continue wilting this down. Actually, I think it looks good like this. You can see what's happening here. Go from the bottom up, because the heat's of course concentrated on the bottom. This is done. <laughs>